Hey everybody, welcome back to Heartland Productions. Today I'm gonna to test out a 24 inch chimney for the Gosney Dome. I'm gonna swap out the original one, I'm gonna replace it with this to see if we get some improved draw to minimize the smoke. A couple weeks ago, I tested this out making steaks with wood, and there's quite a bit of smoke coming out, so I'm curious to see if this helps. Stay tuned, watch to the very end. This is a 24 inch chimney pipe. It's a five inch diameter. It is a split pipe, so this is kind of a challenge to get connected. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside on the carpet and lay this down so I don't scratch it all up, but kind of the easiest way is you kind of lay it down on the floor, and you have to kind of bend it down into almost an oval shape right now. It's kind of round. So you have to connect these tabs together to get it to snap. So the easiest way is kind of to lay down and you push down on it, kind of bend it a little bit and then snap it together. Don't forget, if you haven't already right now, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button. Just kind of bending it down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now you can see it's all snapped together. Then you just bend it back slightly. You hear it snap like that, it means it's locked. Kind of bend it back into shape as best you can. The very first thing I'm gonna do is take the original chimney off. It comes in multiple pieces. I'm gonna take the cap off. Then this part comes in two different pieces. I'm gonna keep this section to put on top of the 24 inch chimney. This part, I'm gonna just go ahead and put away. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap back on. There we go. Now let's put this on. Okay, I need to go ahead and get the fire started. This is my new to you Paralena or log holder for the Gosney Dome, custom built, heavy duty steel. You can see how thick it is. Very heavy duty, great ventilation. I'm gonna put the links to all my firewood, the kindling, and these tumbleweed fire starters. These are great. This makes it so easy. I just set it on the edge. I put the tumbleweed fire starter right there. Then I can just set these right on top. Push this into the middle. So while I'm letting the kindling get hot, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of my next pieces of bigger wood kind of over here on the side to warm up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the fire over. I'm gonna use my deer built poker. Here, I'll show you how easy it is. See the holes, you can just slide this poker right in there. And I can just move the whole thing right over top of the vent right there. Perfect, almost ready to throw that other piece of wood on. Now I'm gonna go put the big log on. It should be nice and warm. Now that I have the larger log on top of the paralena, the wood holder, burning nicely. I'm going to go ahead and put the baffle door on. I'm going to put links to all this stuff in the bottom. That'll help it warm up a little faster. Right now it's at 525 degrees. So we got a little while to go. We'll let that burn for a while. I put a little too much wood in. It got a little too hot. It was over a thousand degrees. The stone was about 950. So I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit before I throw the pizza in. Initial reaction to the smokestack. Yes, I see some benefits. A lot more smoke did go up, but still when you, the fire got going really hot, you can still see, I mean, still quite a bit of smoke still came out. A few people had told me that I wouldn't see any soot at all with a larger chimney. Uh, 
I don't know if that's the case. I'm kind of 50-50 as of right now. Let's go ahead and cook some pizza and see how they cook. We're just doing some simple stuff this evening. There you go, there's some dough. I'll sprinkle a little semolina on top. It's awfully hot. When it gets hot here in Texas, it makes it a little bit of a challenge. The dough <laughs> starts getting very loose very quickly. So you, you don't have a lot of time. And you don't really need to stretch it a lot because it's already getting warm. All right, there we go. Get some of the semolina out of the way. Sauce. I don't have any pecorino. I used it all. I thought I had some. I have some fresh smoked mozzarella. Sprinkle that on. I had a bunch of stuff left over from my daughter's graduation party. That's why I have smoked mozzarella. My wife likes lots of basil, so we're going to do lots of basil on this one. Finish it with a little olive oil. I try to do that. A lot of people pinch. The less you touch it, the better. You don't want the air to come out. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, let's get this launched in the oven. There it is in the oven. A nice hot wood fire. Oven's a little bit hot. It's cooking a little bit. Sides are getting a little bit more cooked than I want. All right. It's been in there just about 40 seconds. All right, let's take this out. There we go. Shake off the extra semolina. I got quite a bit on there. And I'll straighten it up a little bit. Let's do launch cam. Ready for time for launch cam. Much harder to film and cook with a wood fire than you think. It's pretty crazy. I mean, I got a thousand degree oven. I'm holding a camera, a tripod, and making pizza. Whew, a little bit of work. There we go. Look at this one. This one turned out great. Usually the first one's always kind of the test one. I'm trying to get a gauge on it. This one turned out great too. Got some nice air pockets right there. Look at this. Listen. Hear that crunch? 
perfect. Great looking pizza. Let's take this one inside. Tico, you ready, buddy? He's starving. He wants to get in the pool, but I just put shock in it so he can't go swimming today, can you? Uh, come on, let's go inside. At the end of the day, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm not sure if it's worth it. I actually bought this one on Amazon. It was only like 13, I can't remember, it was less than $20. It's the split pipe. It's a, the cheapest option possible. So for the price I paid for this, it's okay. I might try to use it again for wood fire, but really, honestly, I don't know if there was enough benefit of going through this effort and adding that to justify me continuing to use that. I usually prefer to use gas. Gas is a lot cleaner, it's quicker, it's easier. Um, I make pizza almost every week, so it's just so much easier to use gas. If I were going to use wood, all like solely wood, if I only had the wood burning option, then I think I would consider going with this full time because I think there's enough benefit where if I was using wood all the time, it would be worth it. If you are someone like myself that has the hybrid model and predominantly use gas, I do not think it's worth going to this um, method and purchasing the 24 inch stack. I don't think there was enough benefit to justify changing it up and then having the inconvenience of not being able to put the cover on and stuff like that. Um, as you notice too, some of the people said, oh, you're not gonna have any soot once you go with the, the, the larger stack because you're gonna have so much draw. But as you can see, still quite a bit of, of soot right there. I would definitely not spend a lot of money. There are some high quality, like double walled chimneys that cost $100. I mean, you could easily spend a couple hundred dollars buying a whole setup for this. I do not think it's worth spending that extra money. Kind of the geometry when you're building a pizza oven is that technically you, the chimney has to be the, basically you take the, the actual size of the oven and then half of that distance. So in this case, it's about seven inches. That's kind of the minimum height for your chimney, which is exactly what the standard one that comes with the oven is. It's right around seven inches. So from a geometry perspective, from an engineering perspective, the chimney that comes with the Gosney is sufficient to provide enough draw to suck the smoke up and to minimize the amount of soot, etc. So I really don't see a difference as far as soot. It's almost exactly the way it was with the other, the, the standard factory chimney. So I did notice the smoke does go up much higher. So as I had mentioned earlier during the video that if you live in a place that have maybe a more closed or a smaller patio where everything's closer, your table's closer everywhere. I'm lucky I have a lot of space, so it doesn't matter. But if you are in a much more compact area, the one big benefit I did see is that it, it shoots the smoke way up high and gets it out of your patio. So if that's a concern for you, then yes, I think there's a benefit to this. The other benefit would be that if you're in an area, maybe there's a a lot of wind where you're not protected. I think it does pro provide a little more draw and a little more uptake. So if you have a lot of wind, I think it'll help maintain your fire a little bit better when you're burning with wood. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll put the links to everything in my Amazon or <laughs> I'll put the links for everything, including the chimney and down in the description of the video below. And if you have any questions, feel free, send me a comment. If you do have a larger chimney too, let me know how you like it. I'd love to hear more. Maybe I did something wrong. Again, I, this is the first time I've ever tried it, so I don't know. I, I'm on the fence. I'm 50-50. If you're going to use more gas than wood, definitely don't invest the money. If you want to buy it, if you use a lot of wood, buy the same one I got on Amazon. It's the most economic option. It won't spend a lot of money. So best of luck. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe please hit the notification bell. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Put this in the oven again. Ah, it's sticking. It is, it's sticking to the peel. Happens to the best. Okay, that one had too many toppings on. You saw I got too soggy. It made a mess, so I'm making a strong bully with this one. It doesn't happen often, but it did tonight. This was a blowout. The dough got soft, and at the same time, I 
weeded and I overloaded it with way too much pepperoni. Not very pretty, is it? <laughs> Should taste all right, though. We'll see. I have a feeling everybody ate all the other pizza, so this will become my dinner. There goes my nice pretty stone. Everybody's always commenting on how well I keep the stone clean. Not so much tonight. Look at that mess. There's the dead stromboli. I'm going to take that all in like that. Poor little fella. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. <sighs> testing one, two, three.